So I saw an article on Al Jazeera recently saying that China was pointing the finger at Canada, backed by several other countries, in saying how poorly they are currently handling the uh, scanning and dealing with the uh, bodies that are being found in the residential schools. And the Prime Minister of Canada, so says the article, apparently backed by up to 40 other countries, instead of taking responsibility, the Prime Minister's response to this was, well, what about you, China? What about your injustices? What about your, the problems that you've had in your country? The things that you've done to your people? How childish are we? How childish. These are our world leaders. Really? <laughs> so what would a more mature response look like? <laughs> I would suggest that a more mature response to uh, the Chinese leader's comment, just in, for, for a particular uh, example here, would be to say, Yes, you're right. We have this time for us to take responsibility. Clearly, we are uh, we've been on a path that we uh, have been denied, but clearly we cannot deny it anymore. Not in China, nor can any of us. And we need to get on this path together. No, we don't do that, do we? we uh, those childhood, pe childlike people out there saying, "No, no, no, it's your fault. You did something." Oh, come on now, folks. Let's understand what is going on here. Who is at? Who is responsible? for this problem that we're facing here right now. We, can we just say, oh, it was the people of the past who did that? No, 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 that's not how it happened. You, all of you, are living in a world where you are taking advantage of what those people of the past gave you, right? But it is you people who shut up and were silent at the time that all this was going on, at the time that these children were dying. You were silent. And who was enforcing all of this for you? Your police were enforcing all of this for you. And then you held up the idea of this grand police, and you still hold up this idea. This grand police out there is actually doing the right thing rather than throwing their weight around the uneducated, undertrained people who have been that way for a long, long time, just flexing their muscles, trying to do what the rich people of this country and of the world I've been trying to get them to do. Now, we have been reporting what's happened in Winnipeg and Fort Vermilion. Now you understand, hopefully, this idea I've talked about before. Every lie has a shelf life, but the truth hasn't, and there's no expiry date. Because all those remains out there, they were there. All the lies sat there, that all the lies, that nothing, there's nothing much that happened back there. We were just a little phase in our, in our past. No, it wasn't anything like that. That is still going on today. The children, of the indigenous children and other children of this country are being exploited, raped. And we are going on with, with the pretense that nothing's going on. The police are all just fine. No, thank you very much. There, it, in Winnipeg, you will see. You know, we, many of you who watched this before probably thought, "Oh, this is all petered out. Those guys are either going to die, or uh, you know, nothing's going to happen." You know, <laughs> it's best you do turn your eyes in, in another direction because our approach to this whole thing is very different now. We're going to make very sure that this time around, these very people, the rich people, who have made sure that the eyes of the public are kept away from what is going on. They will pay this time. They will pay in Winnipeg. You will see that the police there have covered up the child prostitution that we have talked about. Sam Saxena in Fort Vermilion and his crew have been exploiting the indigenous people of that region for a long time. That hotel, the uh, um, Sheridan Lawrence Motor Inn, is a trap. For the native people, we have actually uh, documented all of what's going on over there. And now, we, now fortunately, the um, trial of the person who assaulted me when I was trying to um, show what was going on has been postponed until July 13th. But unfortunately, you're probably going to see another judge say, oh, nothing's going on there. The children were not exploited. There was no underage uh, anything going on at, at that hotel. 
And yet there's evidence of all of that. The RCMP are covering it up and they continue to cover it up. This is what we've been talking about. You might see in this moment, oh yeah, they're just, you know, trying to attract attention to something which doesn't really exist. But, oh yeah, I hope you can <laughs> see that we're building towards something now. So, those people who are responsible for the state of what we, what we have done to our children, what we continue to do to our children in this world, you will.